We are under the lights this evening as we and get now, you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Baltimore Orioles. Interleague Baseball, next. Royce Gonzalez is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. That in third. Now to the plate, the right number 23, number 23, and they're runners at the corners now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Gone! So a three-run shot to left center. So his remarkable season continues as the Reds move out in front now, three to nothing. Well, d -Row, you know, they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell. Digging in now for his second at-bat, number, number 23. 23. He hit a big three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Hit sharply toward the right side. Owen is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Derek Sammons. Now batting. The second baseman, Derek, Derek. Sammons. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice. Digging in now, About number 23. Number 23. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Into the flag court and gone. A solo shot down the line in right. His second of the game. And the red legs have added on. It's now a 5-0 game. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You have heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. At the plate, number 23, he comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Takes this the other way to right. Owen is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Reds. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Now in the box, number 23. Number He's gone 23. deep twice in the game, making him two for four. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, here's a drive into the gap in right center as he comes through with extra bases. One run scores. Two runs have scored. Now the relay home, and he's safe. With the bases loaded, the pitcher couldn't afford to get behind an account, so he grooves it on the first pitch, and he jumps all over it, clearing the bases and scoring three. That's part of why pitching with the bases loaded is so challenging.
stepping up to the plate, Antonio Chavez. Three runs already home and a potential fourth standing at third base. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back now with back. another good pitch and gets the punch out. Yeah. And man. there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Reds nine and the Orioles nothing. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? A nine-nothing shutout final in this ball game. The Reds host road win number 40 on the year. Kevin Smith hangs win number 11 on his line. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati... Freddie Gunter will be the starter for the O's in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Good. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Owen retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Reds are down in order, and now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. Stepping in, B.J. Favre. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Now here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. We'll move to the third with no score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 23. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Into the flag court and gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. So his remarkable season continues as the Reds move out in front now, three to nothing. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Coming to the plate now, number 23. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So digging in now, now Derek batted. Sammons. Padilla Derek. on second. Hess Seven. on it first with nobody out. Heading out towards shallow right. Number 23 has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Oh, and the throw sails. It's over his head. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. 
also striding in number 23. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Sliced hard on the ground. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Ready now for Cincinnati. Antonio Chavez. Now batting, the first baseman. Antonio Chavez. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pitch misses. The throw down. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Clearly, they were hoping to be aggressive and doing some running tonight, but I think they're going to need to adapt now. It's not working, and you just can't keep running into outs. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. 4 nothing the, the score tonight. Score for our ball Cincinnati tonight. led this for game the from the third inning on and never wavered. Four runs on six hits. Two errors. They left six men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the Baltimore Orioles. It's interleague baseball next on the show. William Ferris gets the ball for the Orioles in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. That he's had a hurt. rough go of that so the far right this field. year. Let's see if number he can turn it around in this one. In now for the Reds, number 23. The watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. And that is off the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Antonio Chavez. Runner in scoring Antonio position with two gone. Chavez. And now the runner's trying for third. Well, he thought about going for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out.
out there. Danger averted following the two out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Now batting, Alvin Anthony. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The third baseman. Wind up and the 0-1. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now with the plate, B.J. Favre. And as you take a look Not at the splits stop. here, he's actually BJ. better against right-handed oh. pitching this season. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Oh, and the throw's wide as it gets by him at second. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the that right fielder's good. head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Number 23. Aaron, he makes the catch for the out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Number 23. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capped. Ready once again. Number 23. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Johnson is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. In now for the O's, now Augustin batting. Pinto. The first baseman, Augustin Pinto. Skied into straightaway right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in to third with a two out triple. Dan that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of. Settling in now number now 23 back. and number with every base occupied a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Drives it the other way to deep right. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Well, Dero, you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that now means. That, you want to put biscuits base. in the basket. And run scored in ribbies. Well run there. scored in ribbies. And this guy's the best in the business right now. Hit out towards second. Throw to first He's is down. in time. But meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy third over to the third base. Adam. Good job of keeping Maybe. it simple there. Lifted in the air out to right. Johnson is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And boy, not quite sure why, but they decide not to risk it with two outs on a very deep fly ball. Really surprising. Corona. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So three runs. Into the box, number 23. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to center field. Salazar will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the red. 
wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout? This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth, totally dominant the in this one. Line. Eight for nothing the final today. Cincinnati the led this Cincinnati game from Red. the third inning Eight on and never wavered. 